Okay, real quick on the advanced recruiting concept. So first of all, just to say as a disclaimer, just because it's advanced doesn't mean that it's better. It's just something that once you've established the fundamentals that you can advance yourself to. Um, so get good at the original training, and that's module three and four. That's where you want to spend most of your time is getting good at the basics. Um, get good at a single stra strategy, again, whatever it is that you like. Uh, things you can do, a lot of what you can do when it comes to agent uh, recruiting is outsource it. So, for example, you can hire a virtual assistant to place phone calls, schedule meetings, conduct cold approaches. You know, this is one thing that as you get busier, you can hire someone to basically script out all this stuff so they can handle it for you. And so that the people they attract in are kind of somewhat vetted and pre-qualified. And then when you pick them up, pick up the phone, they kind of have an understanding of what this is about. They've, they've had a talking to, they know what the deal is, and your time is going to be better well spent. But you only want to get to that point after your schedule is really busy. And then also if you're to the point where you just, you just can't handle the, the basic uh, in the trenches hand-to-hand -hand combat as, uh, uh, for, for prospecting for agents. Now, I, I think it's important, this kind of deals with agent retention, but you want to give the opportunity for your top producers who have an interest in managing. And it's not always necessarily top producers either. Sometimes top producers are the worst managers. But you want to have a career path where your top agents, the ones that know the business well, that have had some success, to give them the opportunity to develop their own agency, to create their own passive income. They're going to see what you're doing, and they're going to like what kind of money you make without having to necessarily personally produce all the time. And in order to keep those agents, you want to give them the opportunity to duplicate what you've done for themselves. And again, it gives you a longer term relationship with your agents that are really good. It gives them the opportunity to grow personally and to also create an additional stream of income where they don't necessarily make all of their money through personal production and that some of it comes in semi-passively. And a question I'll hit here, because, you know, a lot of agents say, well, what, what can we, well, none of you guys do, but <laughs> a lot of agents want to recruit right away. My take on it is this. I think that if you're going to recruit and you're unskilled, the only way I would find it acceptable is that if you looked at yourself just as a, a front man and you had somebody in your employ that was skilled that would actually train. So the perfect example I have is my setup right now with the annuity training program. I am not an annuity guy. I'm a final expense guy. But one of the things I've changed about my agency is as you guys probably have seen, I've diversified, not just final expense, that's a core offering, that's the core offering of what I do. But I also have the avenue to offer annuity prospecting and annuity training for agents who are interested. Now, I don't do it, but I have somebody in my downline who his responsibility is to teach technically the annuity side of the business. So I have a partner in, of, in crime. So what that allows me to do is say, I lead the process of recruiting the agent, and then I funnel them in over to Stephen, and he gets them set up and ready to go to train. So I think that's the only way to make it work, where you have a setup to where you have key people who will make up for your technical, in, I don't want to say incompetence, but um, lack of skill. <laughs> what you don't want to do is obviously, like most multi-level marketers, is take the concept of mass market recruiting to the point where you just recruit somebody and then you don't focus on product or teaching them how to produce, but you teach them how to recruit. I think that's a recipe for disaster because you're going to bring on agents who would have the opportunity to do well, but they become disenchanted because the organization is all about recruiting. It's not about how do I become better at the craft of selling insurance. They're, they're more interested in a multi-level marketing approach, which does work, but done in the wrong way. I think just it just turns everything into a, a revolving door, throw it against the wall and see what sticks, and that's never good. And, and the other thing, too, is it's brand. Look, this is important, guys. Brand conservation is really important. You want to be, I think, because most of you guys who are watching this aren't going to be the next NAA, you need to think about making yourself an elite unit of competent producers. 
you need to be thinking about creating a brand where you create career opportunities for agents that are unparalleled with other agencies. You want to be known as the destination where good producers are made. And that takes special consideration. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes a, a, a purposeful direction towards that. And if you focus too much on recruitment at the behest of quality, then you're going to fall into the same old rut that just is tired and worn out and very rarely works, as opposed to being focused on agent development and being choosy. Again, you know, you're signing off on so many agents and, and their debt, and it can be disastrous for you if you hire the wrong people. So you got to think about whether or not you let new recruits recruit as it relates to how you want your brand to ultimately be. And I argue always that a, a smaller group that's focused on productivity and that's pr focused on results and being the best versus the biggest, being the best is way better than the alternative, being the biggest, which there's a lot of people doing nothing. And then the other thing you can do, of course, is expand recruitment area. I mean, big, big ideas later on is once you've done well in a certain geographical area is take your top producers and essentially duplicate yourself in them and have them work another area. Have them, you know, they live in Chattanooga, have a, the good one that wants to grow their own agency underneath your umbrella, move them to Memphis, Birmingham, Atlanta, whatever, and have them duplicate the same process. Again, what's nice is as you've developed this 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 agency of your own and you've implemented my teachings, you'll become good at it naturally and the agents underneath you are going to be intrigued if they know there's a career path to do this to duplicate this and that you're open-minded to helping them grow something similar for themselves as long as they work with you of course and uh, you'll help them do the same and uh, again if you do a good job a great job you're going to want you're going to have people want to do that stuff so sky becomes a limit are you an insurance agent who is interested in building your own agency if that's the case, then beware. There are so many opportunities, quote opportunities, out there for agents to level up their game and build their agency that put all sorts of contingencies and stopgap measures to prevent you from actually owning your agency and maximizing your commission. I put together a new program for those agents who are interested in creating their own agency. It doesn't matter what product you sell, but to give you the knowledge and the pathway to own the entire process of growing your agency and scaling it and making sure that no one, not a single company, person, or upline owns you, where you own the thing outright and you build your agency in your vision only. This program is something you can learn more about very easily if you go to daviddufour.com, click at the top that says Join Dave's Agency. You'll see a part there where it says Agency Builder Program, or something like that. Check that out, review it. And then uh, feel free to get back with me if it's something that's interesting to you and useful, especially if you're looking to grow an agency and understand the importance of building an independent way that has no entangling alliances uh, with anyone except uh, the vision that you have. So thanks for watching and hope to hear from you soon. See you. Bye.